So the simplest um, DAC configuration will simply consist of a resistor string. That's what we have here, uh, where a reference voltage VRF is applied. And then uh, there is a series of resistors, all of equal value R. Um, and the voltage is tapped across each one of those resistors uh, and basically uh, controlled by a switch. Um, whether the switches are open or closed is uh, controlled by the digital word, the digital input. Um, and so there will be the idea is that there will be one switch closed for every value of the digital word. So if we had, for example, uh, let's imagine a 4-bit digital word, Um, which will be basically B1, B2, B3, and B4. Uh, basically, there will be uh, 2 to the 4 or 16 possible states or possible uh, values for my digital input. And the idea is that I will have uh, 2 to the 16, or sorry, 2 to the 4, uh, 16 switches. And there will be one switch closed uh, uh, for each value of that digital input and all the other switches will be open. So maybe the switch will be closed for a value of 0, 0, 0, 0, um, etc. Then this one will be open for a value of uh, 1, 1, 0, 0, or 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1, 1. Uh, and basically, depending on which switch is closed, uh, the voltage will be tapped at a particular point, uh, and so that will control how much of my uh, how much my output voltage um, will be. That output voltage will be then run through a buffer and just uh, put out at the output. The idea here is that my um, maximum output voltage, since this is configured for unipolar output, my output again is going to be um, switching between zero, if my input digital word is zero, 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 to um, uh, VREF minus one LSV if my digital input is one, 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 one. So basically my V out max as we have seen is equal to my full scale voltage which is my reference voltage minus one LSV Or in other words, my V out max is equal to V ref 1 minus 1 divided by uh, 2 to the n, which in this case will be 2 to the 4. So let's imagine my V ref was equal to 2.5 volts, let's say, just for the sake of example. This will be 2.5 times 1 minus 1 over 2 to the 4, or 1 over 16, which will be equal to 2.34 volts. In that case, my 1 LSB will be equal to uh, B ref, or divided by 2 to the n, or 2.5 divided by 2 to the 4, which will be equal to 0 0.0625 volts. And so essentially what I will have is my output uh, increasing from 0 to 2.34 volts in steps of um, 0 0.0625 volts. So for, my, for a digital input 0, 0, 0, 0, my analog output will be 0 volts. 0, 0, 0, 0001, I will have one LSB, which is 0 0.0625 volts, 0, 0, 0010, 0, two LSBs, uh, which is equal to 0 0.125 volts, all the way to 1111, one, 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 which will give me um, 16 LSBs or I have 16 states, so this will be 15 LSBs, which will be 2.34 volts. 
The main advantage of this configuration is that uh, its simplicity, uh, it only uses resistors and switches and, uh, and a buffer, uh, it's easy to design. Uh, the disadvantage is that the number of components is going to increase substantially, exponentially, um, as we increase the number of bits. So for a 4-bit system, we have um, uh, 2 to the 4 or 16 switches um, and 16 resistors. But if we had an 8-bit system, that would be 2 to the 8 or 256 resistors and switches. For a 16-bit system, we will have 2 to the 16 or 65,536 resistors and switches. So you can see that as we increase the number of bits, as we increase the resolution of the DAC, uh, the number of components becomes very large. So there are other configurations that are going to be a little bit more um, space efficient and more efficient in the use of components.